Some workers at the Macon Mall say their store was robbed of over $11,000 worth of jewelry Monday afternoon. And they say it's not the first time this has happened. Jessica Cha talked with employees to find out more. Things in the Macon Mall can be slow sometimes. It was a normal Monday for Alyssa Pennington, who's worked at John Schmiel and Company Jewelry for two years. So we had a guy that came in asking to have his diamonds tested. Pennington said the man then asked to look at some tennis bracelets for his girlfriend. He asked to feel the weight of two different ones, which is not unusual to happen with us is to feel the weight of the jewelry. According to store policy, Pennington says as long as customers are not covering their face or wearing a hat, they can touch the merch. And he was wearing a FedEx shirt and it's not unusual for FedEx to be delivering us a package and take a look around the store. Then life came fast at Pennington and her co-workers. And whenever she went to go ask for them back, he turned around and ran off. <laughs> and pushed another co-worker flat on his back. You don't ever think that it's going to happen to you. But she says it's not the first time the store has been robbed. I was actually there and the guy put his hands on my employee and pried the earrings out of her hand. That's Kimberly Pennington, store manager and Alyssa's mom. She says even though they followed protocol of calling mall security and law enforcement. I feel like it could happen again and I feel like things are just going to get worse. She says folks aren't even trying to hide their identity to commit crimes and they feel helpless. You don't know what these people have on them. You don't know if you take off after them, if you're going to get hurt. We need more security and especially for our own safety because we don't know what could happen next. Pennington says another jewelry store and a watch store near them have also been robbed in recent years. In Macon, Jessica Cha, 13 WMZ News. So we talked with the county who owns a majority of the mall. They say there is full-time security at the mall hired by the whole property group who owns the other part of the mall. Uh, all right, the county also says there is a sheriff's office substation at the mall that will be moving closer to the retail and dining area as they continue the revitaliz revitalization process at the mall.